Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here on Crafty Cabbage. Today I have a really fun video planned. I've been looking forward to this video for so long. Um, I saw some of some other people do this. Um, so I am gonna be customizing some shoes, but not just that, I'm gonna be giving them to my middle school core teacher. So core, for those of you who don't know, is my English and history teacher. She was, sorry other teachers, my favorite teacher, and she was super nice and funny. So I'm gonna customize her some shoes to say thank you. So basically on this shoe, I'm gonna be doing a history thing. Well, I don't know which shoe's gonna be which, but history on one, English on the other. So I'm gonna write some grammar notes on one, I'm going to draw some landmarks that we learned about in history on the other. So yeah, I'm super excited. So um, we're going to just jump into the video. So last time I used acrylic paint, which most people said is not the way to go. Most people say Angelus leather paint is the way to go. However, I found with the fabric, it really, it does, I've never used Angelus, but the acrylic worked just fine. And I will show you in a minute my old shoes, the ones I did in the video before that I customized shoes, and they turned out fine, except the Sharpie faded, so I'm not gonna use Sharpie in this video. I'm gonna be using my favorite Posca paint pens. Got all three of them here, not gonna need the thick one, but yeah, so we're just gonna jump in. I'm gonna be using Posca's um, acrylic paint and also some other thing you'll see in a minute. So I'm gonna start by sketching out the great wall on the front of this shoe. Okay, so I finished the great wall and I really like the way it turned out. I did use a few tutorials for different things in this video. So if you did enjoy this video and you wanna try and give this a try on drawing one of these, I'll link those below. And also I do have a sock in here. So if you're wondering what that, that weird lump of fabric is. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I think it's pretty distinguishable and um, I'm gonna not paint it I'm going to first sketch out some more things on here. So um, on the side, I'm going to go with a pharaoh's head. And on the other side, I'm going to do the Dome of the Rock. And I'm going to make this a solid color. And then once I do that, I should be able to go into the English shoe. Okay. So I finished the Pharaoh's head and the Great Wall, obviously. So I'm happy with how it looks. I'm done for the day. I'm gonna come back and do the Dome of the Rock and um, some stuff here on the back. Um, probably just a solid color and write grammar notes here. She had some funny phrases like metaphors or like cereal, things like that. And I'm gonna write those along here and I'm gonna put her dog on the front. Now I can't, I'm not very good at oh, it. I mean, I'm okay, I, mean, I can okay. do the job. Do the job. But I'm not, but I I'm can't not, draw, I her can't dog. draw her So dog. I got special paper that I use for t-shirts. It's called transfer paper. And you basically print it out and you let it sit for half an hour and you can cut it out and iron it on and it basically stays there. It's pretty much waterproof. I mean, you wanna be careful with it. But yeah, I hopefully this will work. I watched some tutorials and people said that heat guns work. Don't have a heat gun, so hopefully this will work. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to show you my merch. So some of you have already seen this, but um, anyway, this will just be real quick. Um, so basically, I got some Black Lives Matter merch in my Teespring store with um, lots of different apparel. And 50% of profits made off that go straight to a charity, so that's a great way to donate and get some pretty cool merch. And um, also, I have some other merch, some fruit merch. The fruit guys I made in the sticker video. Um, an all-over t-shirt. Um some cabbages and then a cabbage drawing t-shirt and hoodies i have phone cases i have stickers i have mugs so whatever you want you can get it um i just wanted to show you in this video too because um i showed you in the last video for those of you who didn't see that because i added some more merch i added this the cabbage one all the ones on screen now yeah those are the ones i've added so if you're interested there'll be a link in the description and use code cabbage for 10 percent off at checkout okay let's get back to customizing the shoes 
Okay, so it is day two, and um, today I am going to try to go and get almost all the sketching done, so that sh should be um, some good work. Um, I'm going to do the Dome of the Rock right over here, um, so that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. Okay, so next up, I have, so I finished this whole shoe, so next up I am going to write the grammar notes on this shoe. So basically, I'm going to write all the grammar notes going all the way along here, up to here, and on the other side the same. I'm going to make this a solid color on both shoes, and I'm going to use a transfer on here for the dog on the front. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start by writing a bunch of the funny phrases she would say. So now that all the notes are done on both sides, I didn't want to fill it up too much, but I like the way it looks. I am going to, on the front here, um, paint this a purple. I used this on the other shoes, um, and I liked how it looked, but I'm going to lighten it up a tiny bit. And I have this image that I exacto knifed out of her dog, and I'm going to iron that on once this dries. So I'm just going to tape, and then we can get painting. And now we can move on to painting. Okay guys, so the shoes are done, and this is how they look. I'm super happy with how they turned out, and I'm super excited to see my teacher's reaction. But um, these, um, I used a special gloss. I'll put a link to all the materials in the description so um, you can get them for yourself. I'll try to put a link, but if there's not a link, you can just go on Google and try and find yourselves the materials listed. So I put this gloss on here. It really strengthens it up and really prevents cracking and um, like peeling of the paint. Um, but anyway, um, this is the final result. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome. I post weekly art videos so consider subscribing if you do like this kind of content like I did in this video and I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you in my next video goodbye